Hey everyone, and welcome to the 94th episode of We're All in the Same Boat. I'm your host, Luke Roxwell, and today we're talking about the latest Spider-Man movie, and everybody here, I think, disagrees. So this is going to be a really fun podcast. Today, I am here with Shane. Hola. Nick. Como estas? <laughs> okay. Michael. Mi madre es de Puerto Rico, pero me suena muy malo. The only thing he can say in Spanish. And... Ruji. Hello, it's me. The only... Okay. What? You're the only one who didn't say Spanish, but okay. Wow. Um, as always, you can check us out on <laughs> iTunes, SoundCloud, Google Play, Stitcher, YouTube, everywhere. You can listen to podcasts. Like, isn't that great? You can support us anywhere. Please support us. That'd be fun. That'd be great. So, also, okay, go to boy. the iTunes store, search We're All in the Same Boat, scroll all the way to the bottom, give us five stars. Also, Instagram. Follow yes. us on Instagram. W-A-I-T-S-B podcast. That'd be great. You get to see all the funny memes. Another. And stories. We live for the memes. I love me some good Welcome memes. Welcome to the podcast. So, guys, <laughs> did you like Spider-Man? Bam. Wait, before you say that, before you say that, <laughs> Luke, you gave false information. You don't what? go to the iTunes store. Don't you have to go to the podcast app now? Uh, then they, they separated them. iTunes is gone now. No. Yeah. That's true. iTunes has been deprecated. So, don't go to the iTunes store. Go to the podcast <laughs> app. And that's where you can exist. find we're all in the same boat. <laughs> Why is it yes. dead now? I get they're not going to support it anymore, so they're just like, Apple yeah, we got give up. Tired of it. Um, we're we're done with it, this. I do want to say that Uh-oh. this podcast will have lots of spoilers if you haven't seen the movie already. Yeah, so spoilers. Nick, cover your ears because you haven't seen the movie yet. <laughs> nah, I'm good. I feel like there's no way. No to more talk Marvel for me. Movie. I'm done. <laughs> As you say, why haven't you seen this one? He's on the strike. Dude, like Marvel, the Marvel Universe has completed. Captain America danced his heart away. End credits <laughs> roll. Spoilers. Whoa, spoilers. <laughs> like, I, I'm hey, just, you know. Hold on, the movie's already come out. They had their time. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. You. So, yeah. Well, I will I never pay like another dollar to a movie theater for a Marvel movie. Just to get this <laughs> podcast started, uh, I feel you. I feel like maybe I should have done the same thing because... Uh, You're dang right you should have. <laughs> this movie, I can confirm that the people that are making these Marvel movies are listening to this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> and they are That's trying funny. to make me mad because they're yep. doing everything I hate. <laughs> that I did exact- not like this movie. What? Guys, okay, we gotta start. The, wait, I for did the not record, like it. Joel, oh, wait, hombre, for the hombre, record, hombre, fight. For the record, fight. you liked it. Fight. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I liked it. Do not fight. Wait, but hold for on, the record, hold on. Shane, yeah, it was a what shame. People what that are say? listening, people that are listening to this podcast, for the record. I told Luke that exact thing. I said <laughs> they listened to the podcast. And they did everything Luke did not want them to do in this movie. <laughs> and that's all I thought about while watching it. <laughs> now it worked. So oh, I'm man, excited. I'm so excited to hear this fight. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have a lot to talk about in this episode. So, I'm so um, excited. <laughs> the movie starts with Mysterio fighting a sand guy. And it's, I, already, no, I already hate it. No, it's, Luke, uh, that's not how the movie starts. You skip the best <laughs> scene in the that's entire movie. That's not how movie. the movie starts. The movie starts with the Marvel credits going, and they're playing Whitney Houston's I Will Always no, Love You. No, that's not how it starts. No, no, that's afterwards. That's not how it starts. It oh, starts yes, with yes, Chief yes, yes, Hall fighting the sand monster. Yes. Yeah, it does. Well, I didn't care about that part, so I... That's right! Because <laughs> I, I was still paying attention before I checked out halfway through the yeah. movie. This is, <laughs> this is when um, we've, we're whoa, whoa. introduced to Jake Gyllenhaal's character in the first place. Yeah, like which right I thought was really fast. I was like, wow, here he is. You don't yeah, want everything was really fast-paced. Done. <laughs> okay, I just want to say, so I know... This, okay, this is, this is our topic. It's just outside of the what? plot. So when I saw Mysterio was in the movie, I was like, Mysterio's a villain. Everyone knows he's a villain. So then I assumed, I was like, oh, maybe they're like, are going to actually make him a good guy the whole time because he is an alternate reality version of him. Mm-hmm. Does anybody else not think about that? Have you guys um, heard no, of, I didn't. Mysterio? I didn't know he was a, I didn't know if he was a villain or not. It made yeah, he's sense. He's already a villain. Which I, I, right. So to me, I was just like, wow, they're doubling down. They're actually going to make him a hero. So I, I, I totally believed it. I then felt, they I for it. I they psych yeah. you out though, right? I no, let's into, not go to hold yeah. up, guys. Let's keep this organized. So, we can move forward. I just want to throw that out there. Yeah. Go ahead. So I mean, yeah. I didn't know. I, I mean, I knew Mysterio was a villain, and so I was pretty sure that he was going to be a villain. And it was just like, oh, this is just the setup. 
Um, but we'll talk about that later, like when we cool. actually get to that part of the movie. So movie starts out with the Mysterio guy fighting a sand monster and um, Mexico. What's his name? Yes. And what's his name? Uh, Nick Fury Speaking and the girl Spanish. from How Maria I Maria is her name. Maria Hill. Yes. Yeah. They they both find him and then it just cuts to the Marvel opening and then it cuts to the news station, which it's first, it was like a tribute, wasn't it? I'm trying to remember the movie now. It was like a tribute yeah, to so they were playing, the this Avengers. is my favorite part of the whole movie. So they were starting to play <laughs> I Will Always Love You at the end of the credits and I was sitting next to my friend and I said, why are they playing the song? And then oh. she said, well, maybe they're doing some type of tribute and then boom, Iron Man, mm-hmm. boom, Captain <laughs> America, boom, Black boom. Widow. And I'm like just mm-hmm. cracking up at this newscast because it's so <laughs> bad. Yet so, so I funny. appreciated the Can't comic Sans that they yes. had, like as the because mm-hmm. I was like, "What <laughs> is this?" Yeah, who is and so then bad. the Getty image, the Getty image with yeah. the watermark on it. Yes. I was yeah. like, uh, yeah. "This is and clearly kind of the low quality, like super pixely <laughs> pictures of Captain America." It was amazing. <laughs> okay. Like clearly, like like posters from the internet. So <laughs> let's start by talking about that scene. And I've mentioned before that the worst thing to me is potential. Okay, we're going to get right into this right at the beginning, okay? Ooh. The worst thing is potential, because it's one thing to do it badly. It's, the worst and it's best. another thing to have a great idea and not quite do it right. Mm-hmm. So, what I didn't like mm-hmm. about this is, like, it's hilarious. Like, it's like all the Comic Sans. It's, it's like, edited in Windows Movie Maker. It's got bad green screen. Except, I didn't think it was funny. I thought the kids were oh, really, really annoying. Is that I a did. selling point for the movie? It was supposed to be pretty funny. I thought yeah, it was well, hilarious. I was cracking what? up. The whole movie Nick. was supposed to be was super funny. comic relief. Which and it's was not so funny like at all. What? Yes, exactly. Uh, okay, I, so I, usually, I usually Luke and I agree on Spider-Man, but I don't know how the today is going to go. Disagree. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I thought like it wasn't point. funny, dude. I don't I know. Thought it was so funny. funny. We do not. We shouldn't get this into this like this so From the so beginning, early. the minute, okay, the minute that I was hearing... Hold on, Reggie, what were you saying? The minute that I was hearing Whitney Houston's and I, I was like, oh, this is definitely like, okay, I'm waiting for Iron Man's face to just pop up. <laughs> like, I thought it was going to be like Tom Holland lovingly looking up at his poster or something. <laughs> That's what I thought. Um, so I thought, I thought it was really in his room, like jamming out. <laughs> I know. I just thought that he was just grieving. And um, no, it went into that tribute, which I, I did find it. I, I appreciated the funniness. Um, you know, or like the meme behind it. I'd appreciate it because it was like low quality and it reminded me exactly of what my high school um, news were exactly yes. like. <laughs> Except um, that your so high school like, news was not cutting to multiple camera angles. And it like, was. <sighs> you, <sighs> no, like this, this did not yeah. feel like a real thing to me. My and so it took me out of it. Uh, it this, yeah, I'm but the thing this is... I, I, no, I, I did notice the camera angles movie. like when the two kids are talking, they're looking at different cameras. Mm-hmm. But I thought My, I did like appreciate how like they did, like they went for that joke though. So if you think about, she talks about like yeah. blips and stuff like that, like the blip. But we needed the scene to catch people up. This was the yes. whole scene. The whole purpose of the scene was just to explain what happened to these people in five years and explain why everybody came back the same age. Okay. So they. And I'm did so glad job that. that they acknowledged all of that. <sighs> Ooh, they got it right out it's of the fine way. In concept. Why? So why were the kids older? I didn't get that. Because it's been five because years, so the, the kids that, that didn't, didn't disappear. The ones that didn't get raptured up. by Thanos, they stayed on Earth. By Thanos. I guess I, was, it, I wasn't connecting because I forgot that Peter disappeared. I, I was like, for some reason, yeah. forgot that. And so I was a little confused. Yeah. All so yeah. like, yeah. Peter, yeah. Mary Jane. Um, no, her name is friend. like Marissa MJ. or something. Oh, yeah. No, but her name, yeah, her name's MJ. Uh, all of his right. friends Let's... conveniently disappeared so they could all be the same age. <laughs> <in this movie. laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Okay, so that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Um, Jeez, Luke, are you even paying attention? And no, he wasn't. The girl, <laughs> which was- makes sense why, makes sense why um, Aunt May Michelle, and yeah. this guy have like a little thing going Aunt on right now May. because it's been it's so been hot. five years. She's beautiful. Marissa Tom- I've had a crush on movie. her since like. Since like what women want, I think that's the first time I ever saw that. Woman <laughs> she's, she's great so, in that she's film. So she is. She's so she's, good. She's great in this film. I'm glad they gave her so much more to do than the last one, and it, she was mm-hmm. great. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, takes place in Italy for a good portion of the film. 
and that takes in place in Prague, oh, and then like all these other yes. places, which I liked. I thought that was kind of budget cool. for this movie. So first, the first point against this movie for me personally, <gasps> and this is a very Ooh. biased opinion. Okay, Ooh. super biased. <laughs> um, how long does it really take to get to New York to Venice? Is it really eight hours? And B, United, really. Oof. Uni- that, that that's why I left on time. Yeah. <laughs> United. Really United. United Airlines, please. I'm a phone. So the last time I went, I, I tried to surprise Luke. Um I just tried to surprise him and I took United and everything was going as scheduled and then my connecting flight was delayed by six hours and it took me a full Ooh. 20 hours just to get from miami to seattle and it's never yeah. happened with any other airline just united mm. and i'm like Lame. what and then i find out that united is notorious for just being delayed connecting flights delayed all yeah. the time and then and the best it could do was a 50 dollar voucher and, and one <laughs> food voucher what and get out of my face voucher. and they <laughs> charge you for luggage and and you they destroyed my United. luggage. They destroyed United my luggage because they made me check in my my carry on. So I don't know what all those carry ons were on that plane because you have to. <laughs> She's just watching like in. they don't let me do that, but they let him do that because this could be Spider Man. <laughs> I was like, this is uh, this is not funny. real. And I'm like, what is this three seats in the middle aisle? Like what middle aisle? Like <laughs> maybe if it's, if it's like cross continental, but eight hours it takes. It took eight hours from Miami to Seattle, and that's connecting flights. All together, like once you add the actual right. airtime. So eight hours from New York to Miami. Somebody Google that. I don't think it's accurate. It usually <laughs> yeah. takes about uh, ten. New York is pretty stuck close. out, but like I know, um, I'm trying to think about how to do this review because I kind of headed off early on, admitting that I was not a big fan of this movie. Now there are parts of this movie that I loved. I thought they were eight super hours good. and twenty minutes, according to Google. Okay, Just so all right. but what I'm trying to say is, yes. I should. To keep me from going so negative early on, can I jump to a part in the movie that is great? Sure. You yes. guys okay with that? I will, I will allow it. Go for it. Okay. When Mysterio reveals that he's a villain, fantastic. Oh. I love that part. So I'll say about that part. Um, what? I, you guys didn't love that? <laughs> Seriously? No, no, no. I was giving my comment. Um, okay. So the Everyone thing was I, just <laughs> silent. <laughs> The thing about that part is I didn't know too much about Mysterio before this movie. I kind of knew he was a villain, but I was so in invested in the movie. I was like, oh, yeah, mm. he's good. I mean, he seems a little right. kind of sketch, but like he seems like right. a pretty chill guy. And then <laughs> but when Peter was talking about giving him the glasses, I said, don't do that. Not that because yeah. I thought he was evil. <laughs> I was like, that's just a stupid idea to that's do. That's a stupid mm-hmm. decision. And so then when they did it and then he put the glasses on, he's like, well, that was easy. I said, wait, I was like, are you kidding me? I said, I Mm -hmm. knew that like this was the dumbest idea, but I was actually, Hmm. that part was good. But then his whole monologue afterwards, he has a lot of monologues in this movie. uh, He does. Classic villain. Okay. Let me, let me rewind for a second. That first one just. (laughs) Hold on. What were you saying about the monologue? Well, hold up. Shane, finish what Mm -hmm. you're saying about the monologues. Oh no. I was just going to say, um, it just hit with like a lot of reveal really fast. And I was just still confused that, wait, I <laughs> thought you were pretty chill. And now you're just like this whole mastermind <laughs> behind this whole thing. I said, wow, this is a well thought out plan. <laughs> this man is smart. <laughs> like, <sighs> Well, he had five years to come up with it. It wasn't something that he did yeah. yesterday. You know? Well, that's what I mean. Like, it's just, but like even, I mean, I won't get into detail till we get to it, but just even other things that he did throughout the movie, like everything was so thought out and planned from every angle. I was like, wow, I envy well, your ability to do that. Yeah, so, um, Ruji, you were going to say something about backing up, and yeah, then I'm going to bring up something about what I was seeing in that scene. Luke, you were saying that you enjoyed the scene where, uh, like, after Tom Holland, well, after yeah, Peter left. so it's like... That you enjoyed that reveal? Yes, so, so here's what I liked. I liked that, you know, Peter leaves, and I was like, this Monsieur guy is weird. It's like he's like awkward. I couldn't quite right. figure out why he was acting the way he was acting. You know, he's like, do you have sarcasm on your planet? And I was like, what? What is this guy? He's kind of <laughs> odd. And so then when he, when Peter leaves and then half the people disappear and half the people are still there, I was like, 
wait a second, what is going on? And then I realized, I was like, oh, Mysterio, it's all fake. And I really liked that because I didn't, I didn't catch that. I was like, oh, everything he's been doing has been fake and they got me. And I like that because it, because it tricked me. It wasn't like, oh, he's like Dr. Strange and he bends yeah. things. It like really <laughs> tripped me out and it tricked me. And so yeah, I really liked that. Now, his monologue was a little bit cheesy the way he's like you did this thing and you <laughs> yeah. were the one who was here and saying. it was very that. like very, it was very like, like let me explain mm. to the audience but i did i did mm-hmm. think it was done well like i liked his acting and i liked mm-hmm. sort of de- the delivery if i could get past hello audience let me explain to you which well, character yeah. is which also, which we obviously also, don't know also to do yeah. that because like to explain his powers because otherwise it just seems like it doesn't make any sense that he could just make all this stuff appear everywhere so they had to show that it's like a whole crew Right, like which I did like that it was like a movie, yeah, like a movie. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And like, all the fuckers wearing like the like the like the dot suit that like Gollum wears, like in, yeah. in Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Like he's wearing that actually, like in real life, just walking yeah. around. Yes, it's awesome. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I was I was with Shane on the fact that I'm like, okay, I've never heard of Mysterio because I am not an avid comic book Spider Man fan. You know, hit mm. me with any Batman trivia, and I got I got you. But that's a different universe. So <laughs> when it came to this, I was like, okay, Mysterio, cool. Like he's super sweet and he, you know, the way that he was treating so Peter thought. was super nice. Right, right, right. So he was treating Peter super nice, but I, in my notes, I put after flame monster slash bar scene, I don't trust Mysterio. Like there was some, I'm like, he <laughs> went into the monster and then he goes, what I should have done in the first place. And I'm like, yes. then why didn't yes. you do it? <laughs> and then he went in there and he survived. And I'm like, well, if it was, wait a minute, what, did you think you were going to die? You should have done it in the first yeah. place. Why didn't you do mm-hmm. that in your planet? I'm like, I don't trust you, kid. Because then you came yeah. out with like a smile. And, but I was still giving him the benefit of the doubt because I was thinking that he was part Mysterio and part the fire monster. Like maybe like they intertwine and something happened. Like it can't mm-hmm. just be over. You know, right. it has to keep yeah. going. And there was yeah. smoke coming from him. Well, so I was I like, did oh, think the monster. What's so funny though? is he acknowledges exactly what I thought while watching the movie where he's like the sand monster and the fire monster and the water monster. And it's all ridiculous, but it's just ridiculous enough because anybody will believe believe anything now after what's been going on. And I was like, he's nodding at the movies because that's what happened. Mm. We're like, oh, whatever. The Thor and Mm -hmm. magic and guardians of the galaxy, whatever. Like, I believe this. But there was a part of my brain going, this is kind of hokey. It was and then meta. and then it's like meta. oh it's supposed mm-hmm. to be so I like that a lot yeah mm-hmm. I liked it and so one thing no, that's interesting too um, I like, like along with that the whole movie was kind of like kind of meta in the fact that it was kind of like showing you that what you see is not what's going on because right. spoiler alert if you say to the end credit scene you find out that uh, Nick Fury was actually a scroll the whole time and the crazy thing is Leanne caught it like we were watching it she's like Nick Fury is acting really weird it's not very Nick Fury he's being so grumpy I was like well he's always mm-hmm. grumpy what are you talking about. <laughs> But it turned out that, like, yeah, he was being different. It was a different guy. Like, I don't know. The whole movie was kind of like... She just turns and looks at you at the end of the movie like... Huh. Yeah, she, yeah, she did not Comic book nerd. That. All right. That's She's funny. like, you don't even know. So, anyway, like, I didn't... I, oh, I, go ahead, Ruji. I had to Google that because I haven't seen Captain Marvel. Have you learned nothing? <laughs> so, oh. You're fine. Oh. Yep. Captain Marvel. No, I'm, but I, I'm okay. <laughs> I'm, coming, I'm coming in with like, you guys can reference Captain Marvel all you want because I'm okay with the spoilers because it's not good. But I just see. haven't seen it. That's the one Marvel movie that I haven't been caught up with fully. That's good. Oh, darn. But I Googled yeah. it and I was like, oh, okay, <laughs> cool. Cool. Okay. So that's the first part that I really liked. The second part that I really liked is Mysterio fighting spider-man spider-man yes that was really good like i mm-hmm. love that part at the too. end no the beginning well i mean oh, or the first so sorry the, oh, the first man. fight where it's like you know he tricks him and he's like oh i'm not gonna make nick fury and then like nick theory gets shot and then all of a sudden oh, yeah nick fury shoots him and it's like all a trick and mm-hmm. I, I actually saw some of it coming but i like that idea of a villain like i really really like that a lot Just gets i was so overwhelmed Oh my god, I was so overwhelmed. Like he's never gonna get out it of this. It was really cool, though. How are you gonna do it this? Was, yeah, yeah, and it's like, like taking the whole like virtual reality thing that everyone's doing in general right now and like made it into like a movie. And I just, one. I really, really liked Mysterio in this. It felt movie. like a movie within a movie. Oh, and you know you why know I'm what? being so positive right now because I'm being negative. But I really <laughs> liked that part a lot. 
I'm going to so back I think, up I think a I know bit. what Luke's going to say. I, I kind of agree, but I also kind of disagree. Oh, no. If, if, if it's what I think it is. Say. We'll find out. Okay. About so what? that's Michael. Ruji, what were you going to say? Oh, I was going to say that I wanted to back up a little bit because my notes, I just realized, went in order. So after the, the flame monster and the bar scene while they're talking and then he's like giving him the glasses cause, just because he looks cool with the glasses and I'm like, you're an idiot, Peter. Um, <laughs> <he's> like, <laughs> I, yeah, put, I, think, I wrote down... I feel like he was being stupider than he normally is. Like, Peter's a smart guy. Well, um, no, hold yeah. on, because he's just grieving and then it's it makes sense. <laughs> I, yeah, bu- I bought it. Sense. I got the decision. I, I was it. like, this makes sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it's like I put, I put down... I don't trust Mysterio. And then afterwards, I put in all parentheses, in all um, capital. I was like, I friggin' knew it. And then <laughs> LOL. And, and I was like, LOL, the explanation LOL. scene, because it took up forever. And I'm like, okay, literally yeah, everybody who was like put down by <laughs> by Tony <laughs> is here seeking revenge, even though he's dead. Like, move dead. on with your life. It was kind of cool how they, they actually like tied it into to the old movies, though. Like, no, like it a was random cool, guy. Sure. but yeah, I was yeah. like cool. petty. I didn't accept that. It was yeah. just petty. So I was like, LOL, that explanation scene. And then the last one was, I don't trust anyone anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's all <laughs> like, a lie. So here's something else. Um, I want to stay on like, keep going down my positive train because I, I don't want <laughs> to go too negative too early, like I said earlier. Um, the other good part, I from my perspective, was when he did the spider sense at the very end. Yeah, that was awesome. In the Peter that was table. really cool. Where you I like everything went silent, that. and then when when Mysterio fakes his death and then tries to shoot Peter, all that was really that was good. epic. Yeah. Um, yeah, the Peter Tingle part was epic <laughs> uh, because that got me too. Because I was like, I was confused. I'm like, oh, like that Mysterio. I believed everything that he did. Like I would have never survived that fight. I would have been dead <laughs> a long time ago. And because the last part where he caught like the bullet or whatever i said oh shit i totally didn't see that coming and then my heart was racing i said wow they got me yeah, so I, I, I thought i thought he caught the bullet too but actually he was actually holding mysterio's like hand up so he oh, could yeah, yeah, shoot yeah, him. Locked the yeah. Gun. but yeah i thought he like caught the bullet in his hand i was like whoa he's so hardcore now but he didn't that would have been that would have been pretty boss i thought he got him by the neck until he no, like, got him by the back. hand he, he blocked yeah but the gun. i thought he i know yeah. but before he made himself appear you oh, see okay. him grabbing air so i was like "Ooh, okay that would have been hardcore <laughs> that's, that's too much for a disney movie <laughs> right. Right. too much for a disney but movie. Like the, hero shooting at him. <laughs> the hero can't be holding up some guy by the neck okay, okay. That's, that's not cool. so those are the parts that i really loved about the movie i agree can i talk about what i really love about the movie which i yes. think will probably go into your negative part that you sure. hate all mm-hmm. right so one thing that that Luke and I have always agreed on about Spider-Man is that his life is too good in these new movies. Like Spider-Man's angsty, his whole life is full of turmoil. And the point of the point of Spider-Man is like he has a lot of struggle like balancing his hero life and his regular life. Mm-hmm. And like the whole time I was like oh, like scoffing at like his high school problems and stuff. Like with this other guy that liked MJ right. and like he just wants to go on this trip and stuff like that. And I was like, yep, Luke was right. He's too happy. Like I was thinking about that the whole time. And then, but dude, at the end I feel like you actually could feel more weight in the situation compared to the other Spider-Mans in the MCU. Like, Are you saying at the end of the after credits or the end of the movie? Uh, like, like towards the like right before like the final fight. Like, it still wasn't like Tobey Maguire emo status, but you know, there's a there's a point where he's like realizes that he messed up, all his friends are gonna die, and he's like really feeling like the weight of his actions, and like he caused this whole mess, which is a very Spider-Man thing to do. Like he's huh? like in the Spider Man and Spider Man in every show. Like I, I don't watch the read the comics that much. I watch, but I watch like every Spider Man like mm-hmm. TV thing ever. He almost always creates the villain. Like he always like tries to help somebody, but then they turn evil or something. Yeah. So like that was a very cool Spider Man like thing, and I thought that at the end like well, I do like the idea like he gave him the glasses intense. and he enabled the villain. Like that yeah. is very yeah. Spider Man. And, and he realized that he had messed up, and he was like. How to like figure out how to fix it and like, you know, be creative and it's overcome the situation. That, it's funny it that you good. think that that's when you felt the weight of it. Because I was feeling it from like the speech. Like right as soon as he starts getting interrogated by the photographers, like you just see him full of grief throughout this whole movie. Yeah. But even then, you I don't, I didn't sad. feel it. Like I, I knew it was there, but like it didn't like, it didn't affect me. Yeah. Because it was wasn't like, oh, yeah, like a central. I cried. Like, there's like this arc. <laughs> Where it's like, okay, he's trying to fill Iron Man's shoes. 
Yeah. And then he's betraying his friends or like not keeping his friends safe. Um, and he like enables the villain. And so it's some yes. of that, but I, but I didn't feel like the arcs were really delivered. Like what I didn't, yeah, I didn't feel, feel like it was like, like all of a sudden Nick Fury out of nowhere is like looking almost into the camera going, are you ready or not? Iron Man <laughs> believed in you and you let him. And you're like, wait a second, where is this coming from? I didn't feel this building up. And all of a sudden it's like this Iron Man trusted you and you're letting him down. And it was like, <sighs> it's been there, there wasn't though. a connect. Now, now actually one thing before we start going into bad things, I do want to make one note. Spider verse is an amazingly good Spider-Man movie. And I love so every true. single yes. thing about that movie. Oscar yeah. winning. I showed you that movie. <laughs> <laughs> but that movie is so good. I rewatched it and I was like, this movie, there's That's nothing amazing. wrong with it. It's ab- all the humor is great. It's all the movement is great. All the action is great. The story the is great. Is the so acting cool. is great. The mm-hmm. style, the music. I was like, everything about this movie is great. That's now, great. then I go and watch this and I'm like, this is just not good. Like, I don't like this nod. movie. They did a little nod to the Spider-Verse, though. I like that. Where they were like talking when, about, like, multiple <clears throat> universes and stuff? Yeah, when when Peter met Mysterio for the first time. So he's like, he goes, multiverse. okay, where did you come from? And then he's like, you know, I come from a different Earth. And then yeah, I, I come think, from I think, Earth 833. <laughs> I think they are I'm just trying to, like, to say, I don't hate together. everything. <laughs> I like <laughs> some <laughs> everything. <laughs> That I Spider-Man like movie is things. fantastic. And these ones I don't think are very good. So, um, right. I'm trying to think of how to lead this. I have a lot of negative notes. I don't just, <laughs> just, just want right to like, r- list them off. Just like a band-aid. Just rip it off. Just go. You want me to? Okay. Yes. Do, do, uh, do, do, do like a speed no- round and then we'll one one of my notes. And we'll talk about it. Literally, one of my notes is Spider-Verse is 100 times better than this movie. <laughs> I don't well, agree yeah. with that. That's a given. That's just a um, So I said, like, I like the idea of having Spider-Man in Italy. Um, there's a ton of humor that I, it's just so in your face that it's not funny to me. You know, mm-hmm. like there's moments where he's like, I'm really, I'm really strong and I'm sticky. And you're like, uh, uh-huh, <laughs> I get it. It's okay. <sighs> I don't like humor. That is like soccer mom humor. That I picture all these moms and children <sighs> laughing at. How you dare know? you? I'm, I'm mom serious. Like this. I hate pot this. Calling the I will black say, Duke. ooh, will, dang, oh. savage. Oh, oh it's wait. all gross. What, Shane? <laughs> so I, I will say, and what I've said about when we talked about Spider-Man Homecoming, is the demographic they are reaching for is little teenage girls who think mm-hmm. that stuff is funny. I know, it's but not so did Spider-Verse. You. Girls are ruining America. Spider-Verse did the same thing, and Spider-Verse is actually hilarious. Spider-Verse like when Nick was Fury, not, Spider-verse when, when Nick was not Fury? for teenage girls. Oh, because of I think Tom Spider-Verse Holland, is for children. I think Spider-Verse is for, for everyone. everyone. For, yeah, everyone. It's a family no. movie. No, uh, I'm saying that like... This Spider-Man it, Homecoming this, of No, Home. listen, hear me out. Spider-Verse was for kids, but it was also f- good for adults. It was a yeah. millennial movie. So when you I'm, say like, well, you can't be too judgmental on this movie because it's for kids. It's no, like no, kids no, movies that's not can what be. No, saying. that's not what he's saying. I'm not what say, are you I'm saying? saying you have to understand what you are watching. You're watching a movie that is meant to play off of Tom Holland's lovable sensibility to teenage right? girls. And some of those right. movies can still be good wait, wait, is what wait. I'm saying. Yeah, and I don't think this is one of I'm them. Just, so what I think also is to that is that like... When it comes to Peter's character or Tom's character, like his like immaturity is like randomly different at different times. Like, mm-hmm. yeah. first of all, he's a super yeah. smart kid. Like, Spider Man's a super genius, like in canon. But this, even in this movie, he's a smart guy. He knows how to fight. He's been doing stuff for a while. Like, he's learning stuff, but he always makes like weird, like he always has like really weird, like really childish moments. Like younger than I think his his character mm-hmm. is normally. I well, think like that's the what, scene. That's, that's why the jokes seem cheap. That's why I. Yeah, yeah, it, it does. It does because, like, like, when you watch this yeah. scene with Nick Fury and he's talking to Peter and things keep interrupting him, it's like I felt like I was watching a Vine. The music <laughs> kept playing and stopping and playing <laughs> and stopping, and it was like this feels like an online video. I thought that was so bad, and I know some people think it's hilarious. It's funny one time, but, the, oh, but Marvel it, does it, it all like the time. A, I felt like I was watching. Like a Logan Paul vine. Oh I man, didn't, you probably. Were. I didn't like any of the humor of the teachers. 
I there was exactly was, one kind joke. Of Except when what? he said there was, it was exactly witches. One joke. <laughs> that was the, oh, and when from he said a scientist's it was witches. point of view, this is that was funny. But it was but, it was pretty was cringy playing, the whole time. That was I playing like on the, the fact that people believe anything nowadays, right? So he goes from a scientist perspective, it's definitely witches. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so as a camp counselor and people who a guy who goes on field trips with kids, I will say that that the um what's his face the main teacher that is how people people really act like that that i work with so i thought that was funny <laughs> because i know people like that um oh, really other, it seems super yes. exaggerated and weird to me i mean yes I, it's 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 exaggerated but i know people who act like that i felt like and, i was watching like a sitcom half the time right it was like so it's silly. like this it feels like um big bang theory acting in jokes yeah and it's I, like I it just it that. just makes me hate it right and really? so it's like it keeps doing that and, and, and it just ruins the movie for me. It makes me not feel anything because it's annoying. You know, like even I, when 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 um Happy throws the shield, I was like, oh, that's hilarious because <laughs> like that. the shield just falls and it's really funny. And then it's like he looks into the camera and goes, how in the world does Captain do that? Thumbs up to everyone in the audience. And it's like, <laughs> he, he did oh, it. no, it's not funny. funny. No, it's they a- ruined it. It's not oh, funny. I it's, to be it's, funny. It's for people. They can pull memes from the movie, Luke. This is the perfect <laughs> generation, Luke. Twenty nineteen. That's a good point. I didn't think movie. about that. It's not, That's a good point. It's not for. It's not the movie Spider Man movie you're looking for. It's that. But that makes it feel let's manufactured. Get this marketing. It is. It but doesn't feel exactly. more artistic. It feels like a gimmick. And that's why I don't give him my money, Luke. <laughs> 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 It's just like the one thing I did have, I had another positive thing that said, okay, at least they went back to Spider-Man ruining Peter Parker's relationship with MJ. Mm-hmm. Right? Um, and then she knows she's Spider-Man and they ruined it. It's like, she they, only no, but they ruined it since the previews. New. She only, yeah, about 65 <sighs> to 67. Um, but they, they ruined that in the previews. And which Michael, I think what did they you kind think of, of took that? a, yeah, <laughs> Luke's like they Michael took an Iron understands. Man approach. No, no, because like, you, I want to know if you agree with me on that. Well, yeah. So I get super pissed off in every superhero movie when everyone knows what he like who like the superhero's name. They always know, and it gets and, worse at the end. But we yeah. won't get there yet. Oh, oh yeah, that actually was exciting to me. But anyway, right? yeah, no. Okay, but we're not gonna go. No, there. but it's we're, but it's we're not there no. yet. Wait, wait, we'll we'll get there. But I know oh, I do I do agree with you, everything. Luke, that it ruins everything that MJ knows because that. Like I said, like okay, um, I, de- I definitely get frustrated with how hard Spider-Man's life is for no reason. But at the same time, <laughs> the purpose of keeping it a secret is so that his friends and family don't get hurt. And yeah, the whole first movie is super obvious that he's Spider-Man. Like literally, he'll be in the same situation. Well, all, every single Spider-Man thing ever, he's like literally saving his friends' lives thirty seconds after to- after talking to them a second yeah. ago. He's always like, "Oh, I have to go, um, even though there's an earthquake right now. I'll see you guys at home." Like it's obvious, <laughs> and like right, if, if, it, if, like it's Luke, just. You see me like I've, you see me in person like maybe once every like six months. If I walked up, if I was near you in a Spider-Man costume and talked for like more than three words, you would know it was me. Like <laughs> these people have seen him like for hours every day at school, and then he rescues them. He says, "Hi guys, I'm Spider-Man. I'm saving your life." With his, with his normal voice, and they just like go, "Wow, who is this? Who is that masked man?" <laughs> That's just dumb. But it's just like. <laughs> So, but like, so the I'm drama is like, she there's has, no drama. Even but at the like, same yeah. time, oh, at the same time, she has to know. She doesn't know. Aunt what the heck? May, she has well, no, to no, know. No, no, no. I kind Aunt of agree. May is funny, but it's oh, also like, why hilarious. is she like p- totally fine with her nephew like almost dying? She's like, go Spider Man, it's fine, and like, <laughs> it just feels like a cartoon because she's the carefree, cool aunt that's like, yes, live your best <sighs> life. This is <laughs> not Spider-Man. Dating, dating your employer. Um, not Spider-Man. <laughs> but I no, work with say, Spider-Man. I, w- I will say, though, Luke, I do kind of agree with you on the MJ knowing, or just how it was revealed, because it, d- it took a lot of the weight and suspense away from, I'm like, oh, is he going to get to, like, I was waiting to see if he was going to get to ask her out. Like, I'm looking forward to that, the whole movie. Like, let's go to the Eiffel Tower. Let's see the whole thing. And then she's like, oh, you're Spider-Man. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> like, I had the same yeah. reaction he did. I was like, <sighs> what? No, he's not. <laughs> How do you know and, like, that? It was weird, too, when he found the drone part. And then he's, like, talking to everyone, like, hey, I found this piece. I believe it's to 
make this all a re- in like a, a virtual reality i believe it was connected to drones and you're like Man, how in the world did he know all this just from like a camera that yeah. showed it i, it I, just thought, was I remember that too it was too <laughs> fast. It's, it's a little nitpicky but but it was instantly so he like, knew okay I, f- I feel like i feel like he definitely would have gotten there like soon like maybe like in like a few minutes but he was instantly like piece of, piece of a random like metal he's I like i feel like it's connected to a drone you're like this is what? a drone thing <laughs> oh, he's, he's using he's, he's using this technology i don't even know exists Whoa. yet no, to do but all he, this stuff he was you don't think he could have figured that out so he knows that they had they oh, had access true. to drones yeah he turned the whole thing and saw but, the whole but thing but it was before so. he gave him the glasses no i don't know i mean no, it was maybe, after because he messed up no but he made but the holograms were going on before he gave him the glasses Right, right. But, but I'm saying he, like, he gave him glasses and then he, he found the drone piece. And then exactly. he knew. Exactly. No, but no, the he, drone he found, piece. He didn't find the drone piece. He found a holographic. MJ found the oh, drone piece. Oh, was it? Was it a drone piece? Yeah, what? So you're right. She you're right. Found, it is a drone piece. She found a camera oh. that was from the drone. Yeah, she found and it. And then he was like, oh, it's connected to the drone that I saw in Iron Man's glasses, right? No, but the, the thing one is, that he called by accident. I know. Yeah. But what I'm saying is. Mysterio was doing those holograph things before Peter gave him the glasses. Oh yeah, because he yes. Mysterio had his own drones before, but then he just got access to more drones. So how Peter's. did he know? It just I don't know. It was it, yeah, no, it, 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 that's it was a big stretch. That's this nitpicky. I don't care that much no, about that. No, they explain, but they explained that that Mysterio created Edith, but Iron Man had yeah. given it an, a previous name, which was Barf, before he made it Edith, which Edith no, 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 stands Mysterio for. Didn't make Edith. Mysterio just made the. Hologram technology. Edith was just like a program to control Iron Man technology. No, he made like, Edith. He made the, he, well. No, okay. he made. No, yes. he did not. Edith no, was Mysterio like the new Jarvis. Edith. Edith, Edith no, he did not. is Mysterio Iron Man's barf. addition onto. <laughs> hold on. No, Edith, Edith, was, Edith just controls all of Google Iron Man stuff. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Ruji, What are you saying? Edith is the name of the glasses and the program, like the the artificial intelligence inside the glasses, right? Yes. But the original glasses came from Mysterio, which was named Barf, which at the time when it was made, according to like the whole story, was just, you know, for projecting, you know, a virtual reality. But Edith and then didn't do Tony, projecting. But then Tony added on to those glasses and made it into something else. So, so Ruggie, I think he, you're right, but it's not the glasses that are the thing. They're just controlling it. Yeah, but no, the glasses is just barf. an easy access to to everything else, to yes. like the whole central system of everything. He didn't, you know, Mysterio was the one who came up with the whole concept of creating the virtual reality thing. And Mysterio already had barf. He just wanted the glasses so we could have access to all of Tony's technology. Just for those of you who are Correct. listening who didn't watch the movie, barf <laughs> is like a technology that uh, Iron Man's like Civil mocking. War? Yeah, yeah, yeah. From, yeah. Civil from Civil War. War. Right. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I've, I've read all that and I, I remember... Or I saw when I saw the review, they were talking about Barf and all that stuff, and Edith, and and uh, so I have sort of an idea, but mm-hmm. I'm still pretty lost. <laughs> <laughs> um, so in the beginning, it's, uh, I don't know what it stands for. It stands for binary augmented retro framing. It was the holograph whenever, like in Civil War, when Peter did like not Peter, Tony did. Yeah, you the see hologram like young, of him talking to his parents, young Tony right, Stark. Right, right. That was Barf, and that's what Beck made. And that's what right. he wanted. He already had the drones, but he wanted the glasses to get more drones to do more explodey things. Exactly. Okay. So to keep moving, um, there's a part like there's some subtleties that I thought were really funny, like um, like little things. Like so, like I remember Mary Jane, like or sorry, not Mary Jane, MJ um, mm-hmm. comes yeah. out and sees Peter at the end, and she's like, "Oh, so you're Spider Man? You saved everything?" And then you know he's like, "Yeah." And there's like this awkward moment, and she just like shrugs over to the little weapon that she pulled off of the suit of armor, and she's like. Well, I brought that thing, you know, like, <laughs> like that was funny. And then like when Aunt May is like, oh, okay, let's go. Where are your bags? <laughs> All right. They blew up. You know, like <laughs> yeah. those little lines, those are funny, but it's well, not like. That's, that's soccer mom humor. That's very subtle, but it's not like, oh my, gosh. oh my God, how does Captain America throw his shield like I just did? Ha ha ha. It, you know, it's. <sighs> Am I like I just can't believe people don't feel this funny. to me. I cringe through all the humor. My favorite my favorite humor were two jokes where with the teacher I hated all, everything they were saying. I just hated <laughs> any dialogue they ever said in this movie except for the when they're at the top of the bus where it's like, "Okay, I, 
don't worry, we've got it. And then the teacher goes, that's a load of BS. (laughs) (laughs) He goes, I'm trying my best here. (laughs) Yes, yes, yes. That was funny. (laughs) So I was dying. I was dying at that part. And then another one was when Happy was talking to Spider-Man. And he goes, so what are we going to do? And he goes, I'm going to kick his ass. And (laughs) he just keeps going. But think about, um, if you look at old movies, when you have those black and white slapstick comedies and it's so over the top yeah. that it kind of pulls you out of the humor like it's like oh and then the guy stepped on his toe and now look he's jumping up and down and holding one of his feet and jumping in little circles ha <laughs> isn't that hilarious and it's like no it's too it's <sighs> I what are we I in the, like it's the like, screenwriting ugh. I really I'm just gonna keep like doing that over and over again ugh. I did like the idea this though. movie yeah, Ugh. I feel like after like like the after Guardians of the Galaxy, the humor just went downhill because everyone was trying to be Guardians of the and Galaxy. And Guardians of the that. Galaxy had good okay. humor. Yeah, but okay. two, it was really good. No. But also the thing is, if you do it twi- yeah. if you do it first, it's always best. Like if you if do it Guardians- well too, it's like yeah. like Infinity War was hilarious, and so was Endgame. But then these That's other true. in between Endgame. movies, not Ragnarok. Hilarious. Ragnarok was not funny to me. Yeah, what? Was, uh, Ragnarok no, was super funny. That was hilarious. No, it was Ragnarok was too hard, though. No, Ragnarok was, was funny, hard, but, it was but it was still too much to me. Like, it, it, like it was the meant to guy, be all funny. The rock guy, hilarious. He's so funny. I love right? him. All that stuff with him, everything is funny. Most of the other stuff is too much for me. Well, I think it it's just too- the amount of jokes. Like, it's not always the way that they joke. Like, usually, like, the same kind of joke that I like in one scene, I don't like in another scene. It just gets annoying when it's like every few seconds there's the same kind of like awkward situation. Yeah, like and it's, they they keep doing the awkward uh, thing now. Like in it's even much. like in uh, Doctor Strange, they kept doing that too. Like the, even on the cape and the cape's like wiggling in his face, and I was just like cringing the whole time. I was like, dude, it's not <laughs> that funny. You just actually ruined a moment. It would have been really cool if you just cut it like four seconds ago, and now we're just here watching right. this man wiggle the cape on his mustache. <laughs> <laughs> like that's how it feels a lot. And I think like this movie was some of that but actually it wasn't as bad as what we've seen in the past but though. like go back and watch spider-verse and count how many times that movie is funny there's humor throughout the whole movie constantly mm-hmm. jokes over and over and over again people crashing into things people saying dumb stuff it's goofy and 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 slapsticky and all these things and it all works watch that because movie and then compare the humor to that movie to this movie you can't i know because this the movie story is, really is bad. Good. I know. But it's also rushed. Because yeah, this was feel, such a true. complicated... Does feel very rushed. We're talking about coming off from movies such like Infinity War and Endgame. Where, I mean, it was like three hours long. Because it had such complicated streams of reality and, and just explanations and... A lot of characters, a lot of storylines just mixing together. And then you take Spider-Man, who's first villain on his own, technically, you know, just on his own. And he doesn't even know how on his own he is because Nick Fury isn't even there, really. So you give him one of the most complicated, in my, honestly, in my opinion, one of the scariest villains because he had a whole team. He was a very good manager. I'm going to say this right now. Mysterio was a yeah, great he was, manager. Yeah. He was like a oh, good, yes. he's like, hey, I don't want a bullet in my head. Do you want a bullet in your head? Let's do better. Do you have those wrinkles out of the cape? Like, I need it for the queen. Thank you so much. Yes, You're doing I a great job. I still need the cape. I like that. I like all that. So, all he's that a was great really good. manager. But he's also a very with the with the team that he had that the reality that he creates is so scary because you will you can literally drive Spider Man crazy. Yeah, but if, I like that because that is it. what Mysterio has always been. Like the, I think they the rushed first it. the first cover with Mysterio, if I think I think it's the comic I'm thinking of, is like Spider Man literally like holding his head and he's like mm-hmm. going insane. Mm-hmm. And so I like the way they did that because you they put you in the head of Spider Man really well because I was like mm-hmm. yeah. I don't trust anything nothing's real Me you know I know which is um, what I was saying in my notes it does feel rushed it almost feels like a TV show to me these Marvel movies well it is a TV show now like well, it's episodes what they're headed towards it, I mean it does it just feels like a lot of filler and rushed and not mm-hmm. there's not it's like corporatized it feels 
generic and gimmicky and manufactured. It's almost like, uh, it's like, uh, oh, you know, like video games, you have like different characters that you can play as. And then all of a sudden, all the characters are, there's only like a, or like Smash Brothers. Smash Brothers mm-hmm. has a bunch of different characters, but then you kind of realize, wait a second, Luigi is this, or Dr. Mario is the same exact character as Mario. Mario. He just looks different, but it's really the same right. controls right. and characters. Fox is the same as Falco. They just look kind of well, different and there's Falco's some teeny the little tweaks. That's what these movies feel like, where it's almost like it doesn't feel like there's depth to it when I watch Same them. movie, different characters. And like I said, right. watch Spider-Verse first and then watch this and you'll see why I'm so disappointed with this or movie. Or don't do that or watch the worst one first. <laughs> or be <laughs> happy and don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> um, can I can I talk about the part of this movie that just made me puke every single time? Oof, <laughs> sure. Yeah. Ned and his girlfriend. I don't even know what her <gasps> name was. Thank oh. you. I thought that was Dude, so shady. Yeah. I couldn't even be mad because like I kept looking at my fiance because like no, we're like actually please, like, grosser Michael, than they are. Stop and I was like, man, now. <laughs> sure. When you stop say grosser, you mean like? Before I hate you. Hold on, hold on, um, Shane. Keep going. Well, no, I was just gonna say because. Like, at first, when they first <laughs> got together, I was like, oh, you know what? I can kind of see them together. Then it kept going, mm-hmm. and they kept being, like, very overly affectionate. And there were just those couples that are just so in love with each other from first sight. And I was like, this is so disgusting. <laughs> Every single time they had a scene, I said, I'm disgusted. I'm disgusted. <laughs> I'm disgusted. And then my friend, who I saw it with, uh, she said... Oh, they're so cute. I said, they're going to break up before this movie is over. And then when they got <laughs> off the plane, and then he's like, oh, we're not what, together anymore. Who is anymore. that girl? What's I her said, name? Is that Gwen? No, it was no, like Betty no. or something. Yeah. Because yeah, she Betty looks like Gwen there. with that little black headband no, thing. how dare you. I didn't Kinda know who does. she was. MJ is f- f- tan with no red um, hair. I don't know. <laughs> she, maybe you know? Mary <laughs> Jane comes later in his adult life. We don't know. Yeah, Luke. Didn't you even read the comics? Gosh. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know. What, was it, what was the quote that you sent me? Oh, uh, the tiger the one where she says, "Face the tiger, tiger, you hit the jackpot." Yeah, but like that's Dude. not the Mary Jane that's in this movie. Dude, I was, yeah. I was. I love totally that Mary waiting for her to say, "Go get him, Wait, Tiger," when she jumped out the window. Which she didn't. We're not talking about Mary Jane, Michael. What did you say? I was definitely like waiting for her to say, "Go get him, Tiger," when he like went to go like fight Mysterio the last time when they were like in the mm-hmm. hotel room like talking after she found out that uh that he was Spider-Man I was mm-hmm. waiting at the end of my seat for her to say it but she didn't say it and I was kind of <laughs> disappointed but also kind of proud that they didn't do it yeah it's still iconic Shane, you, Shane I yeah, agree with you but from the minute that they got together part of me was like I don't think she's who she says she is. I, I expected some, again, I trust no one. So I expected <laughs> her to she's be like, alien. why are you into this guy in particular? That's the best friend. And then it was just wholesome kind of like lovey dovey stuff. But I was like, you're getting them into so much trouble. You're shady. And at the yeah. end, the way that they broke up and it was cute when she was like, you know, I would kiss you, but I think I just threw up in my mouth. He's like, uh, I have a mint. I have a mint. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> yeah, 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 that was funny. So, but it, but <laughs> I think, but it's a timing thing to me because I like the joke, but if it was like, like a long, imagine if it was just like a freeze frame of him just completely still. Yeah. And then he just goes, I think I have a mint and then immediately just cuts away. <laughs> that would have been funny, but they kind of linger and they there's just something about the delivery it became that awkward. just kills me. Because it's, it's what yeah. Shane says. This is directed towards teenage girls. And, and ra- right now, there's a lot of like social Stupid awkwardness. And, and, and Shane probably sees this more than we do because he's a teacher. But like, there's a lot of social awkwardness now, a days in school. And like, they find oh. that funny and endearing. So it's like, Because yeah. okay. they're watching Vines and that, TikTok. That doesn't exist anymore. They're it doesn't not exist Vines. anymore. They're watching mm-hmm. TikTok, whatever. They look Maybe. Oh my gosh! But I don't know. I just didn't I care for. You. I didn't care too much for like any of those parts because Ned was my favorite part of Homecoming, and mm-hmm. I hate that they just stuck him in all his scenes dating this girl, just going, "Oh Pookie, oh the love of my life, oh Cupcake." I'm like, this is so stupid. I'm like, get him away yeah. from this person. And he's like, I'm still the guy. I'm still the guy 
in the chair. I was like, yes, be the guy in the chair. And Peter's like, no, <laughs> be with your girlfriend. I'm like, Peter. <laughs> what it was so funny though. Like, I think it was, it was good for the lows. No, he, but... no, he was funny. <laughs> like the actor is hilarious, but I just don't right. care for what they made his character do. I think so, it dawned on but Ned it made sense, when... It made sense because it opened Peter up more to be with MJ, which is, you know, what they're pushing for going forward. Right. So. Reggie, what were you going to say? Um, I lost my hair at thought for a second. Okay. So what I was going to say about... <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Moving Fine. on. In there. Just no time. <laughs> you hesitate, you die. So what I was noticing, <laughs> though, is, you know, I said that I liked that they started kind of establishing the drama between Spider-Man and his relationship with Mary Jane. I was like, I like mm-hmm. this. This is like what... I, this is what I like seeing, that she's saving him a spot at the theater, and he has to just duck out. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. good. That's it. That's what happens. It's like this confusing twist between the two. That's what I like. And then it went away because then she yeah. knew he's Spider Man. I was Immediately. like, oh, that ruined it. And I was like, well, okay. They can still sort of do stuff with it. Different and twist. then the after credit scene. <laughs> oh, now, dude. now okay. everybody wait, wait. knows. Dude, so, so, like, actually, what, where's oh the drama now? Okay. Okay. So, I just, there's so much more drama now, Luke. Luke. I'm this so is excited the now. I want to really talk about this yeah. the whole time. It was really right, cool, Luke, but listen. it also ruins everything. No. There's Luke, so much it does drama, not dude. Ruin everything. No, 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 dude. Think about it, because now everybody, everyone knows he's <laughs> Spider Man. Everyone knows that he's. Everyone thinks that he's okay. evil. First of all, J. Wait, Joe wait, Jameson wait. was freaking back. Like, and bring me pictures of Spider Man. I love that. He's Spider Man. Can we he's pause? He's supposed to take wait, pictures. Wait, wait, can we pause? Hold on, hold on. He's supposed to take pictures for the Daily Bugle, and now he can't do that. So what is JJ's point? Everyone mute yourself. Can we just Luke and Mike no just yell at each other? Anything. No, can I? Mean, <laughs> wait, 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 pause, 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 pause. Michael, what pause. are you trying to say? I just want to appreciate the Michael. fact that they got. That I think they got, the scene is great. Hold on, everyone, stop, Michael. I want to appreciate say? the fact no. that they got the actor who played J. 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 Jonah Jameson in yes, the first Spider-Man movie. Yes, that. We, I was sorry. so hyped. Everyone likes that. Okay. But awesome. now he can't do anything. But dude, no, 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 dude. So my favorite part of the whole movie was at the end when Mysterio told everyone. Um, Peter Parker's identity because it's gonna make it so much more dramatic now, man. Like people yes. are gonna be coming at him all the time, uh, like his personal he, life and his body oh, life. They're the kind same. Kind of like Iron Man. No, it's like dude, it's seriously because they no, cause he blamed because he blamed Peter for he blamed thing. Peter for this attack, dude. That's totally sure. different. Iron so, Man was like, I'm a hero. I'm Iron Man. Mysterio was problem. like, he's a villain. Oh, he's Peter Parker. Wrong. It's all wrong. Luke, here's a problem no, with dude, your mentality. Good. You're not realizing that it's this world so much has been moving on. Oh, okay, okay. Ruji, what are you trying to say? The, the problem Shane. with your mentality is that you're stuck in the old-fashioned early 2000s. Yes. Like, we're Preach, talking Ruji. about the 2020. <laughs> 2020s are on the corner. We're, yes. we're gonna, it's about to go <laughs> down right now. Everybody Luke knows Peter. Social yeah, and media. I'll be honest. I, I haven't chimed Hold in on. much, but I... Well, go ahead. Well, I was just gonna say, I read the last credit scene. I read, like, what happened. Now I yeah. want to see the movie. Yeah, right. right. Because, because, this movie because, I'm, because I'm it's you interesting. Right now. Now. It is a good scene. Hold on. So this movie, I had a particular rating at the end. I was like disappointed in all of it, and I had a specific number of what I was going to rate this movie. And then this after credit scene happened, and I was like five points for Harry Potter. Dude, yes. Like, this is after, after, after I saw that, <laughs> dude, after I saw that, I made it a nine. Like, for me, that because scene made this movie a nine. We're talking about social right, media. On, on, Mary on, Jane so, is not so, going to stay, or MJ, is not going to stay with Peter because she's going to be the center of the spotlight. We're talking about Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, yes. Watch, Facebook. Right, so Shane, We're talking so now about Shane, TV. I need, and Shane, what were you going to say? Because you haven't said anything in a while. No, I was, I, well, I was just trying to going to explain what the scene is happening just for context for people listening but when i really liked that scene too i said he, you know they swung down or whatever and then the tv comes on and i thought that was really petty of mysterio i'm like all right you didn't have to do all <laughs> right. that like you lost just go down a noble defeat and just call it a day but he, then he was like yeah and he was like oh, it's, and he's peter parker and then i was like okay whatever people know his name then he showed the picture i said all right now this i know exactly <laughs> where this is gonna go because just like ruji said i'm excited because it op- i mean i can i see your perspective too luke but i'm excited because it, it opens up the world of possibility like everyone knows that he's spider-man everyone knows what he looks like they know exactly who he is they can search him find him wherever he is and that is going to add to all of the other stress so what now now he's like on the run 
Hell so the yeah. high school yeah. drama. Yeah. Hear me possible. out. Now hear me out. Hold on. Let me talk for a second. So now the high school drama gone. That's fine with me. All the no, drama between be Mary Jane drama. and like his personal life gone. Now it's Ooh, just a superhero. Drama. Hear me out. Now it's <laughs> just a superhero movie where he's running away from the people that are trying to get him, and that's it. Dude, and the people, Wick, about, <laughs> the people that he cares about, the people that he cares about, are in danger because everyone okay. knows who he is. There's no. It Literally. doesn't yeah, doesn't have You're the drama wrong. that dude. How no, am I not wrong? Because, Wait, because let me ask he's you sixteen years now. old. Sammy is in danger for real. <laughs> yeah, right now he's sixteen now years old. His Tinder is anything. going to blow up. <laughs> I get, it, I get wait, that wait, the wait. stakes are raised, Luke. but it's just another superhero movie now. I do wait. think that wait, if, if, they, if they do it, <laughs> welcome if they to do the Marvel wrong, universe. <laughs> listen, yeah, listen, I'm not, right. Luke. I, I agree a little bit because if they probably are gonna do it in a way that's like that, like it's probably just gonna be like, oh, he's on the run. Like it's just gonna be a normal superhero movie, but also it might not be because now his whole family's like all the characters that he loves that we've like loved that it's like his friends and family are also in danger now. So it, it's a different yeah. element than. Just him on his own. I don't. I don't know how you can make it that dramatic. And when, he's gonna so, have drama between MJ because there's gonna be girls throwing themselves at him. He's gonna I mean, be sixteen years matter. old. <laughs> and can he's I gonna. Just, he's gonna be like, well, I don't that. know what to all do right, about Shane, all these girls coming at me. Shane, what? What were you gonna say? I just no, want to kill him, dude. I know we're just, just Michael. Michael, hold up. Shane, what were you gonna say? I just want to say I know we're theorizing here. None of us know what's going to happen. Uh, the thought of him being on the run, it was never even a thought. To me, I said, oh, why would he run away? I don't see him running away. I see him, like, living in that world. Okay, well, everyone knows who I am. Because he'll think, you know, well, everyone knew who Iron Man was because he, yeah, you know, how he's is this Iron different Man. From Iron he's Man. Iron Man 2. He is evil, Iron dude. Man 2. Yeah, that's everyone's going to think. If they, if they choose to believe which if everyone just randomly believes mysterio well then mysterio I'm edited BS the video to make, to make it mysterio edited the video to make it look like spider-man called like the drone no, and his, also his, no. would, would he have time to edit that that's what i want to know he's a yeah. genius he right. anyway, production it. team but michael Can yeah I? he didn't do it the guy oh, okay. the, the guy took let's out, keep us organized so wait so shane and then Ruji. yeah so just to uh touch on what michael said the mysterio didn't do it the guy before everything kind of ended, the guy took out, he saved the data or whatever and took oh, out his yeah, little flash did. drive and ran guy. away. He's mm -hmm. the one who made it. But right. um, I, I I see that Spider-Man is going to now live in this world where everyone knows where he is, just like Iron Man, because that's how the movie set it up the whole time. He's Iron Man Jr. Like, they're, all the references were there like throughout the whole movie, which I will agree with Luke. He hasn't said it yet, but I thought that was very <laughs> annoying. I'm like, Okay, we don't need. He doesn't need to be another Iron Man. I I understand that what they're trying to do with that, but it's like okay, Iron Man is gone. Let the let the character go mm -hmm. away, not make another Iron Man. Like he's even right. his suit, so now Spider Man, so Iron Man suit. He has the technology, the glasses. I'm like, <laughs> what? Yeah. So okay, I'm gonna respond to that, and then and then Ridge, you can go. But real quick, it's like. Yeah, he's using the computer. He's like really smart. He's got the glasses on. He's like building a suit that's all metallic and he's flying more than he web slings and mm -hmm. everyone knows who he is. It's like, this is Iron Man again. And I didn't want Iron Man again. I wanted Spider-Man and, and they're just kind of yeah. taking Spider-Man and turning him into another Iron Man. And yeah. it's yeah. fine. Iron Man was fine. But I wanted Spider-Man. I didn't want Iron Man. Okay. And did you Andrew. notice all well, of the shots where... They had him with the glasses. I'm like, you're just making him look like Robert Downey Jr. Right. We see what right, you're Ruggie, trying to well, do. I said, I said, Ruggie, I said, Ruggie can go next. Yeah, so go, go ahead. ahead. Go ahead mm -hmm. No, I was just going to say that the reason I, I love that scene and why I got so excited wasn't so much because, yeah, everybody knows his name. That I, I'm completely, <laughs> completely agreeing with Luke on this one. Um, I didn't want Tony Stark. I wanted Tony Stark to be remembered and, and some like nods to him, you know, and his memory because he kind of set set up the path for, for Spider-Man, you know, to really have the technology in his hands. And he kind of like set up a, a will that's unspoken almost, right? But what I love about this whole after credit scene was the fact that it was built up throughout the movie. So Mysterio, his number one line was... Mm -hmm. 
I'm going to make them see what I want them to see. And at the very end, they're, they're like, oh, but like the, the drones are shutting down. He goes, they will see what I want them to see. Turn it on. And then <laughs> you don't know what happened after that because then they fight. And then you don't see it until the end. And then you're like, oh, man, he did that perfectly. He got them. He got Peter to say the right thing. So that it incriminates him. Like Mysterio, Mysterio died. But he's like, <laughs> screw you, because I have a plan after this. I, and wonder, now, I wonder if he now, actually did die. He did but, die. But and yeah, now he no, went down in history. I agree with all this. Hold I do on. agree he with all the concept, history right? As like a hero. He didn't go down as a villain. He made people see what he wanted them to see and that yeah. he's the greatest hero of all time. And then they give a nod to the original Spider-Man by bringing in J.K. Simmons. And I was like, I love you so much. Yeah, and, so and like happy. all of that is good. I just don't think it redeems the whole movie. No, it doesn't redeem the whole movie, but it definitely added a lot more value than what I was going to give it at the end. It's my point. Because had they not included that scene... But when the after credit scene, scene is the only thing that like... I don't know. That's, I just... Right. But the thing is, I know, I understand what you're saying. Is It wasn't... A, I don't think it was the best Spider-Man. Like... The Tom Holland movies, my favorite one has been Homecoming. I, I don't think they, they've gotten better than Homecoming so far. Not even with Civil War. I mean, Civil War was cool, but like not even that and not even Infinity um, War or I was going to say Exfinity. Wait, you didn't think Infinity, Infinity War, War was better than Homecoming? No, no. What? I'm saying Wrong. I'm saying the spider-man parts were not oh, okay. like spider-man right. movies <laughs> i'm gonna fight with you like later <laughs> oh okay never mind right, yeah. no infinity war to me has been the best i was telling luke this off the podcast infinity war is the, the, the way factor has been the best movie that marvel has ever created that i've seen yeah. so that yeah, has like been the like hands down so like it's 10 out of 10 for me I think but I, I have a reason for it. My reasoning behind that is because I myself made myself blind to that movie. I never watched a preview. I never looked into it. I literally just went the day the day before it premiered, and I sat down and watched it, and my mind was blown. I was crying. I was grieving for Blown about- away like dust. That is not <laughs> funny. <Okay. laughs> Too soon. I was so Too sad. Soon. I was grieving for so long. All right. So uh, I want to talk, talk about one other thing that I thought, and I was disappointed. So when Spider-Man is wet, so what? Let's talk about Spider-Man in the original comics. He's a photographer. He works for JJ. He takes pictures of Spider-Man. Nobody knows how he takes those pictures of Spider-Man, and he gives them to JJ. Right. Mm-hmm. So I was trying to think about like, wouldn't it be interesting to have like a modern twist? So when I saw him taking selfies while yeah. flying through the scene, now hear me out. I thought I was that like, too. I was like, this is interesting, and I was like, but mm-hmm. wait, Peter Parker wouldn't be taking those photos because they'd be like, well, why is Spider-Man holding the phone? Then I realized, what if Spider-Man made an Instagram account and yep. uploaded his own photos and then got sponsors and like millions of followers <laughs> and had a real account? I was like, that's That'd a really cool. interesting twist. Then everyone this found out he's Peter there. Parker and I was like, never mind. Okay, it's okay. But this can go there. They In can the video spin game, it this way. Peter that. Parker. cool. <laughs> Peter Parker can get an agent and be like, "Don't worry, we'll, we'll make you know, we'll 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 separate the two. You can still be a hero and have a normal life like celebrities. You can still go to school and then go to the movies, yep. but and now so, you can't. No, but yeah, he probably I don't think can. It's the no, I don't think that's the direction. No, dude, go. everyone knows who he is. I'm man. saying that's a, yeah. that's a way. <laughs> Fr- it's that's all ruined. A, doesn't well, matter. Ru- like, wait, what? Well, he still has ruined, powers. What might be, might, be, might be awesome. Well, wouldn't well, that be a- very much Iron Man if he were to just go back to his normal life and then become a celebrity? Wouldn't that be more of an Iron Man kind okay. of thing? So, uh, yes, I, I agree. I think it's but more of an Iron Man thing when he's a celebrity now. and everyone knows he's the superhero. But now everyone needs, dude. The thing is, like, the government's going to be after him, and villains are going to be after. him. I know, him. but that's like raising. Okay, this is raising the stakes. The way these Marvel movies keep raising the stakes, where they just say, mm-hmm. guess okay. what? Okay, first, the entire world's going to be destroyed. And then it's like, oh man, now the city is floating into the sky. You know, and it's like they keep trying to, now we're going to destroy the whole universe. And they keep raising the stakes by saying more people, more villains, bigger armies, more CGI fights. And it's like, that doesn't raise the stakes. What raises you know the stakes fix this, is saying, this is like the Joker, <laughs> hold on, hear me out, where he says, you can say a millions and millions of people will die, but you take one person and you tell them they're going to die, and that's what freaks people out. You let you raise the stakes by attacking the small characters that we care about. Like like Homecoming did this, 
where it wasn't the destruction of the world. It was the death of Peter and his girlfriend and his aunt. And like, that's what you were scared of. Mm -hmm. You know, it was like a small battle, but it was more intense than being like, no, but Luke, now Spider-Man, it's going to have the (laughs) army and tanks are going to come after him. And like, and it's like, this isn't going to make me any more on the edge of my seat true plus in movies tanks tanks are always easier to beat than people in movies and it's it's not personal i want one villain coming after spider-man i don't want well now the u.s navy is going to come after him that's going to be intense it's like no i'm not going to care this doesn't make me care okay but who is to say i'm just just saying but who is to say people are going to even believe mysterio what they could literally everybody's believing him we didn't see anyone believe him the movie ended the the media the media spinning it so that he's like he's gone down as the greatest superhero of all time and that's enough for everybody to be like oh yeah so he is the greatest (laughs) oh they said that they said that it's like what we know about mysterio is that he may possibly be the greatest superhero of all time Mm -hmm. so that's what they said and he goes what the fuck and then it just cuts him (laughs) off and that was really great I feel there's many ways they can go through it because they can easily expose Mysterio for lying and be like, okay, well, Spider Man's well, the truth. What proof do you have? There's no evidence. And that, so that's the future movie. So, like, I mean, let's go back a- to this movie. I want to try and see if there's any other points that we want to touch on in this movie uh, before we kind of finish up this episode because I think we're, we're covering most of it at this point. And we do have to end, like, immediately. So, Well, I just um, hope that you enjoy the next movie, Luke, and it's your favorite Spider-Man movie of all time. <laughs> Luke is never going Maybe to enjoy it. Maybe the next Spider-Man movie is, a, is Spider-Verse 2, because that's actually a good movie. <laughs> oh, actually, never... actually, actually, rumor actually. has it. Rumor has it that there will call be... Me Ashley. <laughs> Sorry. Rumor has it that there will be, a like, a, a human version of Spider-Verse. Oh no! Well, I think I feel, like, I feel like they're together. gonna try to like because, merge them because Sony's like contract idea. gave it um kind of, but Sony's contract Sony had given reins over to Marvel Universe to like the Marvel to Disney like here here's Spider Man basically like you can get them mm-hmm. for five for five years for five movies while we make the Avengers all like. To merge together right and you have five motion pictures and after that we get we get spider-man back and we get to do whatever we want so sony has been building up spider-man their own way with the cartoon with spider-verse so rumor mm. has it and i don't know that this is accurate and i tried googling it and i couldn't find sources but i've heard it from someone who does have the sources um that they're going to bring in different spider-man versions and one of them is going to be toby um oh, so man. and and mm. when I, and, and then i the saw that jk S- and then i saw that jk simmons was in like here and i was like oh what and now i kind of think and then they alluded to the spider verse in this movie so i'm like oh god like is this happening maybe perhaps so yeah, i'm holding like out tying hope tying them in together yeah i'm bit. i'm holding out hope that something like this happens and so maybe that the- and maybe that can undo okay. Sorry, and maybe that can undo everybody knowing about Peter or something. I don't know. True. I don't know. They could they could do something like that. Time travel. Just go back and erase what Mysterio did. <laughs> Somebody call don't Captain Marvel right it. now. <laughs> Time travel is All right, just anything the else easy we want to talk out. about in this movie? Michael, Shane, anybody? Um I mean you guys you guys are, are not making it sound great. <laughs> It's awesome. <laughs> this is I thought Actually, everyone loved this movie, and well, I'm, just, I I'm coming in here. I, I did like I it. I just like I just like to talk crap about stuff. But Luke, I did like the end credit scene. The end credit scene took it from like a seven or eight for me to a nine. I think the end credit scene makes oh, everything that's so too cool. High. Oh, also, we didn't even talk about how Nick Fury was a scroll the whole time. Yeah, I didn't. I was trying I to figure out what that. the point. We did of talk was. about it. Oh, wait, we, we, ma- we mentioned it, but I didn't quite get it. I was like, "Wait, what's going on?" It was, it was just solely a, for the purpose. Like, I was like, he was the scroll else. the whole time. Hmm. I guess. Or a scroll was. was but it's like he's a him. scroll, so he can take a vacation. But why mm-hmm. was that in the movie? That's why I didn't. This was get. supposed to be for shit. It's gonna set up the next movie. That's all it was. No, what? I don't that's think so. Yes, it is. Why else would they put it in there? Otherwise, for shit and giggles, just to be funny. Let's stop for a second. Nah. I it could have just been for humor, but I was no like, way. it was just kind of odd. I was like, I feel like there's some reason for it. No, but I, setting up I just Guardians was like, three. Okay, so Ruji, you think it's just for humor, Michael? You I think googled it's gonna it, and that's what the they next... said. Uh, yeah, they're the lying to you. Said, 
They're that lying was to for you, shits Rugis, and giggles. So that you- but I mean, no, but seriously, like, uh, it could be for humor. It could be setting up another movie. Is there another reason that they would have that in the movie? No. Yeah, or maybe, so oh, I actually, know. I have a reason. Because, like, the whole kind of theme of the movie was, like, not, like, everything you see isn't how it is. Mm-hmm. Right. I feel like they were kind of driving it's that home. But both, both, end, both end credit <laughs> scenes kind of drove to that because you saw Mysterio twist what had happened and show the people a false story using the videos from the truth. And then you find mm-hmm. out that Nick Fury, who's been there the whole time, was actually an alien the whole time. Mm-hmm. And But I think it's got to be setting something up, man. Like maybe maybe not like I a whole new like weird story, but like it's just gonna tie into the next movie somehow. Right. I maybe thought like, the maybe the next Marvel mo- Captain Marvel movie. Maybe. Yay! Let's go see that one. So <laughs> I think that with I remember he talks to Happy and he's like, "Tell me something only Happy would know," and then he does, and then right, and so yeah. like I guess he never technically said that to um, Fury. Nick Fury, and that's yeah, why true. I was like, "Whoa!" Oh, oh, at the end, it's all. <laughs> <laughs> but I, just didn't, I didn't really understand Ooh. i wasn't no, i don't I know care. i just seemed kind of like oh okay i guess it yeah, doesn't change whatever. anything it's just like oh nick fury was on vacation doesn't change anything about the movie doesn't like yeah. blow my mind it's just like it'd be like you could have done that with any movie at any character at any time for any reason it's like oh the whole time aunt may was fake and it's like that doesn't change anything in the whole movie right nope. not really you know so i didn't really mm. get the point of it mm. Uh, anything else before we wrap up? Yeah. I don't think I'm going to go see now. this movie, guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. It's I don't good, think I'm going to go see it. <laughs> oh, man. Some people liked it. Uh, you know? That end credit scene sounds badass, and it's cool that Jason really and Jameson cool came back. So. I like the scene. I don't like the context. That yeah. end credit took it from a six to a seven for me. Wow. It, it made it a nine for me. I felt like the movie was pretty good, even That's though I, too I hated parts of it. What's your number, Shane? Oh, are we at final opinions? Yeah, like the numbers. Like they, we got a nine from Michael, a seven from Ruji. Kind of. Oh, well, I mean, I mean, I thought it was like an eight. I enjoyed the movie. An really? eight? Man. Yeah. So I'm like high. a four. I know, four I like, or five. I like that, huh. I like that type of humor. And it's like there's scenes. So. Well, the movie overall is like four or five, and some of the scenes were like eights. That's Nick, it. what do you give it? Uh, I gave it a seven out of ten. Um, nice. <laughs> the uh, you know the writing was lacking a little bit, but I really enjoyed that scene with uh, Peter Parker. It was really cool. <laughs> <laughs> so aside, from, aside, from Nick, like part. aside from Nick, we give it an average of seven out of ten. It's not too bad. I mean, that's not bad. It sounds like it's actually not that bad, Luke. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, we'll I, it wasn't great, honestly. I it, I struggled to give it a seven. <laughs> I wanted I to give it, it a six. I, th- I thought it was really good. I think like, I there's parts that I don't like. Good. But Luke, I think we're just going to let go of old Spider-Man. Just watch Spider-Man <laughs> cartoons. It's kind of like when a band <laughs> changes their I'm sound. I'm just going to watch Spider-Verse. Yeah, watch yes. Spider-Verse. That Spider-Verse I is freaking sick. Watch something I that love. That is a 10 out of... That is a 20 out of... Yeah, I think I, think I give Spider-Verse such a 10 a good movie. Out of 10. Spider-Man's such a, 10. a good movie. It's Spider-Verse really is good. amazing. Oh, dear Lord. It's such a good movie. It's perfection, All right, perfection, let's honestly. wrap up this episode. So, Shane, plugs. Well, before that, I just want to say what? I really thought that um, I really liked Jake Gyllenhaal and I really liked Marissa Tomei in this movie. Um, and they were like probably the highlights for me. But um, mm-hmm. plugs, um, big, huge plug, actually. So ding, ding, ding. Tomorrow, <laughs> or I guess today <gasps> when you listen to this, um, you can <gasps> now. It's so crazy that I'm Whoa. saying this. You can now listen, <gasps> purchase. Um, and hopefully a more soon platform stream my soundtrack for my musical um, <gasps> The Big oh, Apple it is done I bur- bur- made a whole bunch of CDs today um, that was really cool I'm very excited for people to hear that Whoa. music I made like, a whole SoundCloud page and I'm going to try my very best to get it up on Spotify somehow but yeah so that music will be out tomorrow if you check on my Instagram at Mr. McCaddy M R M C C A T T Y. I've posted like a bunch of behind the scenes videos of like the making of that, and I'll be posting um, when the album comes out. I'll be posting on like how the songs were written and created, and doing more of that behind the scenes stuff. So check out my Instagram mm-hmm. for all the things that I'm doing, um, and of course I will have the link and everything where you can check out the music and or purchase the CD. So yeah, that's what I got. All right, Michael. Um, 
Just follow me on Instagram, Michael Demas, M-Y-K-O-L-D-I-M-A-S. And I'm going to do some music at some point in my life. Now I actually have more time, so I will make music. <laughs> now I've actually right, been able to reschedule okay. my work schedule, so I actually have time. I'm going to be sitting aside like a certain day a week just to do music stuff. So Or maybe a podcast. Get some stuff out. Yeah, maybe a podcast. <laughs> nah, just do saying. music. Anyway, yeah, just follow right. me on Instagram. Nick, plugs. Yo, I'm on uh, Instagram, <laughs> Facebook, Twitter. Well, I haven't said anything this whole podcast, uh, so I figured I'd be loud. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Uh, follow me at I Love Drumming. No G. I'm playing in so many shows lately. It's been stupid, but it's been oh, a good stupid. time. And that's why I can't make it to Michael's wedding because I'm playing a show. Dude, so. oh, actually, I, 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 wow. I had to turn down, I had to turn down a gig today because it's on my wedding. Oh. oh. See, and like, it was my wedding. wedding. Wait. <laughs> well, I'll ask you after the podcast. Sorry, honey. We're going to have to get married tomorrow. I got a gig, <laughs> got a gig. Got a gig baby. <laughs> I'm going to leave and come back. It's, it's during the reception okay, time. So I can like, leave, day. play for okay. half an hour, and go back to my wedding. I guess that's true. Wow. Anything Don't else, Nick? Do that. Don't do that. Uh, no. Uh, uh, no. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say something, but no, I'm not going to. <laughs> All right, Ruji. Oh, hi. Um, Hey. Um, I have so many Instagrams. <laughs> my podcast Instagram is sleepless in M I A, and my original Instagram is Rajane R U J A I N E. I'm actually posting a lot of um, more lives because I like cooking and and baking, and I've I've started going live is therapeutic for me, so that could be fun <laughs> or funny. Cool. If you're into that stuff, go follow me. Boom. Okay. Nice. You can follow this podcast at W A I T S P podcast. Hopefully, you enjoyed this episode. A lot of controversy, but also a lot of fun. <laughs> you know, let us know what you thought of this Spider Man movie. And you can follow me on Instagram at L U K E R O K. One of those. Dude, Roxwell is a hard last name to spell fast. L U K E R O C K S. Stop talking. I'm trying to stop. Hold on. L U K E R O C K S W O L D. Luke Roxwell, that's my Instagram. Follow that if you want to follow what I'm doing. Awesome. Guys, thanks for being on the episode. Let's wrap this up. And outro. Outro music. Outro music. Go see Toy Story 4 instead. <laughs> <laughs>